Wow, okay, you've built your All Asus and Crucial computer, and now it's time to install Windows 11. I know, I know Windows 11 isn't the most popular one, but it is the latest and it has the highest support right now. And I know Windows 10 does well. Look, I still miss Windows XP, I'm that old. And Windows 7, actually 8.1 wasn't too bad. No, 7 and XP, top of the pops right there. But we're gonna install Windows 11 today. And the way we're gonna do it is without bloat and without an online activation. Cause that to me is the most frustrating thing to sit there and have to type in an account, get Wi-Fi connected while I'm just trying to install an OS. So we're gonna use a couple of tools. It's a really simple process and we're gonna go step by step on how to install Windows 11 without bloat and without an online activation. And if you haven't seen already, make sure to check out the step-by-step -step on how to build this beautiful, beautiful computer right here. Big thanks to ASUS and Crucial for supporting these projects. Links below where you can get all the parts for this build. And let's get started by rolling the intro. So find a USB stick with at least 32 gigs of storage and then insert it into the second computer that is also a Windows computer. Now this part is very critical. We only wanna download the Windows ISO from a real Microsoft.com website. So make sure you are on Microsoft.com and I will put the official link below to download the ISO. Once on the real Microsoft website, we can then scroll down the Microsoft webpage until it shows download Windows 11 disk image ISO for X64 devices. We then select our language, save the ISO to your desktop preferably. Then we navigate to rufus.ie website, links below of course, search for the EXE and download. The good thing about Rufus is that you don't need to install anything, you just run the EXE. So here we have our Windows ISO and our Rufus EXE. We're now going to start our Rufus EXE. On the boot selection, disk or ISO image, we're gonna tap select, navigate to our Windows ISO. Once Rufus has recognized the ISO, then because Rufus does everything for us, once we press start, it's gonna ask us if we wanna customize the Windows installation. The reason I tick all these boxes is because there's always an error we can run into when installing Windows 11. I do remember that Windows 7 and 10 never had these issues, but somehow Windows 11 is just so picky. So ticking all of them helps us get a smooth installation. To make things even nicer, you can create a local account with a username of your choice in that little box. Once you press okay, Rufus is going to do its job and it copy the ISO onto the USB stick and make it a bootable USB stick. Now let's go to the computer. Now we're going to install Windows onto the PC by getting into the BIOS and making sure we have all the settings required for this Windows 11 build. Making sure the USB is now plugged into the computer, we can then turn on the computer. You'll be greeted by a message from your motherboard manufacturer. In this case, it is ASUS. There should be a message below that says to get into BIOS, press delete or F2 key. Once pressed, you'll be greeted by the BIOS utility. Now to navigate, you'll be able to use your mouse if it is a newer motherboard. All the motherboards will require you to navigate with the arrow keys, enter key and escape key. Most BIOS screens will not give you all the information straight away. They will all ask, do you wanna see the advanced mode? And so we're gonna select that with either F7 or the mouse. In this screen, we're gonna to navigate to boot and we're gonna check the CSM compatibility support module to make sure it is disabled. Next, we're going to tap into secure boot. Again, this might be named differently in your system, but we wanna make sure it's on the Windows UEFI mode and the secure boot module is standard. These are requirements for the new Windows 11 installation. There is a chip on your motherboard that is used for security. Finally, we're gonna to go to boot options. Back in the day, you would just make sure to select the drive or the USB stick. And in this case, it is the same thing. So we're gonna remove the Windows boot manager from boot option one and select the UEFI Samsung flash drive, which is my USB stick that I've used. We're gonna press F10 to save and restart. Assuming the USB is still installed and you've restarted your computer after saving the BIOS settings, you'll be greeted with a select language settings page. This is the new Windows 11 mode installation, but we're actually gonna go back a little bit. So first let's select language, which is English Australian in my case. Once we press next, we're greeted with this select setup options. But at the bottom on the left-hand side corner, there is a little blue button that says 
previous version of setup. I may be old school, but there's a few extra options that allows us to clean up the drives and see which drives we're gonna be installing in. So again, we're gonna select Australian English. We're gonna start installing. At this stage, we don't have a CD key. So we're gonna click, I don't have one, but we're gonna select the version of Windows we want to install. In my case, it is Windows 11 Home Edition. Then we're gonna accept the terms and conditions, press next. And on this page, we're gonna select custom install. Here, we're gonna be greeted by every single drive that is in your computer. My recommendation is be before installing Windows at all, you're gonna remove every single other drive aside from the boot drive to make the installation as failure free as possible. If you have multiple partitions, make sure to delete them all until there is one drive left with unallocated space. You won't need to reformat anything and you don't need to press new, you just press next. And now it's a pure waiting game where Windows starts their install process. You can now connect your network if you wish, but you can leave it for later. As you can see, the user is now Techman Pat. There is no password set so it will ask you to set a new password at the next restart. On desktop, we're greeted by a very plain Windows 11. There shouldn't be anything installed aside from the basics that come with Windows. Once you do connect the internet, you'll get your standard Solitaires and a whole bunch of standard Windows products. However, there will be no bloat, which is the best part. If you have an ASUS motherboard, once you connect to the internet, the ASUS motherboard will install a module called ASUS Driver Hub, which directly connects to a website which has the latest updates and drivers for your motherboard and chipset. And it's really quick and easy to install no more need for a CD drive. Hey folks, Vsauce here, and we have Windows 11 installed without any bloat. I believe if I press start, there we go, there is nothing on there. You know, the pre-installed crappy games that nobody wants to play, it's gone. The computer is ready for you to set up all your drivers, and that will depend on which brand of motherboard you have and which brand of CPU, and of course, which brand of graphics card you have because you're gonna to have to figure out all of that. And nowadays, most computers don't even have a CD drive. Products that you buy won't come with the drivers on a CD anymore. So you're gonna to have to download them. But what I found really good about ASUS is there's a website that kind of connects to the computer and you can install straight from there. Of course, with the graphics card, depending if it's an AMD product or a GeForce NVIDIA product, then you'll download whichever product supports it. And of course, big thanks to ASUS for powering this computer and big thanks to Crucial for sending the SSD and RAM for this amazing build and the videos so far. So friends, let me know your thoughts below. Do you have any questions you'd like me to do a video on about a tutorial on something to do with the computer? Please let me know and make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in another one. Bye.